So knowing how to work with functions is an absolute must if you want to be successful in algebra. But a lot of students get confused about functions because of the notation. It is a little bit different and uh, you never really kind of see this stuff in algebra until you run into, or this notation if you will, until you run into uh, functions. But here is the problem. We have f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x and we want to evaluate this function for f of a plus b. What is this equal to? Well again a lot of students just simply uh, won't know where to start. So let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. Okay, so as I uh, said in the beginning of this video, you must understand functions, okay, and function operations. This is extremely important on uh, in all of mathematics, especially algebra. So this is not one of these things that you can be like, yeah, I, don't, I really don't want to learn this. I'll just kind of skip this part of math and move on. Well, you're not going to be successful in algebra if you don't get this down, and it's not that difficult. All right, so first of all, let's just kind of do some, um, kind of some basic review here. And let's just talk about what a function is. So effectively, a function, uh, there's many different ways you can define it, and you kind of need to know those various uh, aspects of functions. But let's just kind of make it nice and simple. A function is simply a rule, okay? That's what it is. We have an input value. We're going to put something in, and then we have this rule, okay, that we're going to take this input value, okay, we're going to do something to it, which is this rule, and then we're going to get some sort of output value. Now, we don't have to get all technical right now uh, and talk about uh, the input value is what we call the domain, the output value is called the range, etc., etc. This is, of course, important, but not for um, uh, this particular um, uh, video. So we'll just kind of keep it nice and basic for those of you that are, you know, a little bit shaky on functions. Okay, so that's all it is, right? We have a, uh, a rule and the x, and this could be any variable, we could have y, but effectively is whatever we plug in here is our input value. We just simply uh, replace all these other x's with this input value. So let's go ahead and see how this works here real quick before we tackle this uh, problem. Let's find f of 2 of this function. Okay, we're going to find f of 2 of this function. So what does that mean? Well, here is our function, and if we want to evaluate the function for 2, and that's uh, basically um, the directions here, we would say evaluate this function for f of 2. Okay, that's a big word in mathematics, evaluate. But all we're saying here is replace this x with 2. Okay, so that's what this means. So if we're going to replace this x with 2, well, we've got to replace all these x's right here with 2 as well. So wherever we see an x, we're going to plug in a 2. And by the way, a little note, when you plug in or substitute values into a function or any other variable expression, always use parentheses. Okay, always, always, always. Uh, use parentheses. So f of 2 uh, for this particular function is going to be equal to uh, 2 squared minus 4 times 2. And now we can just simply do the, the math here. So for uh, our 2 squared, excuse me, is 4 minus 4 times 2 is 8. So 4 minus 8 is going to be a lovely negative 4. So f of 2 is equal to negative 4. Now again, there's a lot of different aspects I'm not even uh, getting into about functions that you need to know and they're all important uh, topics about, you know, what uh, the kind of more technical definition of a function, how to find the domain and range of functions, graph functions, et cetera, et cetera. Huge, huge topic. So if you are studying functions right now in your class, let me give you a few quick suggestions. One, I have a ton of additional videos on uh, all topics, functions on my YouTube channel. But if you really want my best instruction on this, probably check out like my Algebra 1, Algebra 2 course. You can find links to those in the description below. If you're at the pre-calculus level, I even get into functions, you know, uh, you know, that much more advanced. Okay, again, this is a topic that's going to be with you throughout all of mathematics. Okay, so if you understand what I just did with f of 2, okay, or to evaluate this function for f of 2, well, then we're going to basically apply the same concept to find f of a plus b. Are you struggling in math because of confusing lessons? Maybe the teacher's not showing you all the steps you need or things are happening too fast. Well, there is a better way. So come on over to my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. There you'll find clear step-by-step -step instruction by me that will definitely make a huge difference in your math success. 
So make sure to check out all my courses by following the links in the description. Okay, so back to the problem. All right, so as we uh, talked about, uh, a function is a rule. This is the input value. So if I want to find f of a plus b, well, my input value for this function is uh, a plus b. It's whatever is, is inside these parentheses. So I'm going to replace this x with an a plus b. So that means this x with parentheses, I'm going to uh, replace it with an a plus b. This x here, I'll replace it with an a plus b. And now I'm going to have to do the respective algebra. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Okay, and this is exactly how you would want to set this problem up. So given this function, let's find f of a plus b. So you can see here, I'm replacing these x's with a plus b. Okay, so hopefully you are up for some um, algebra. Okay, and the algebra that we need to do is to figure out what a plus b squared is. Okay, of course, we're going to figure out what this is. But let's go ahead and evaluate or simplify what a plus b squared is. So a plus b squared is a plus b times a plus b. And here you could use like the FOIL technique or any other technique because uh, we're multiplying uh, binomials. Okay, uh, The FOIL, uh, FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, last. So the way it works is this. Here are the first terms of each binomial. So that's a times a is a squared. The outer terms is a times b. So we'll, uh, that's what comes next. Uh, the inner terms is b times a or a times b. I'll write it as a b because this is a b. Okay, but b a and a b are the same. And then the last terms is b times b, which is b squared. Okay, so I have an a b here and an a b here, so that gives me two a b. Okay, let me go ahead and just scroll down here so we can see it a little bit uh, better. So we have a squared plus two a b uh, plus b squared. That is what this part of the problem is. However, we still need to clean this up as well. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so just to kind of see where we're at again. So we have a plus b squared. We got this uh, trinomial right there. And now I have minus 4 times a plus b, or uh, I can think of this as plus negative 4. Just use the distributor property. So negative 4 times a is negative 4a. Negative 4 times this b, negative 4b. And this would be my final expression, okay? So f of a plus b, uh, again, or this f of a plus b for this particular function was this was the setup and this was the answer. Okay, so I cannot stress to you enough how important uh, it is to understand functions in mathematics. It's a huge, huge topic. Matter of fact, if you are taking some sort of math course, or if you can kind of recall back when you have uh, taken courses, think about the um, word functions, right, that you've seen, all right, uh, in, in math, right, functions. And I always kind of like to tell my students, listen, the root word of functions is fun. These functions are fun, right? But what kind of functions do you uh, uh, study? You study linear functions, quadratic functions, okay, uh, exponential functions, trigonometric functions, uh, logarithmic functions. This word is specifically being used, functions, right? Rational functions, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, this word is uh, behind many of the topics that you learn, functions, but there's very specific, you know, um, uh, properties and, and things that come to mind when you use the word functions. That's why you need to really understand functions. Again, if you are struggling in this topic, do not, uh, you know, uh, get, you know, down and out about it. Anyone can learn anything. It's just a matter of you first, one, getting the right instruction, and then two, practicing, practicing, practicing. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.